Hello friends, today we are going to study about rationalizing the denominator. It's very simple and it is very necessary to learn this as it is useful in all the chapters where root will come. So, we start. Whenever you find any root numbers in the denominator, you cannot put it as the final answer or this cannot be possible means root is not possible in denominator. If they are giving you, then we have to remove that root. How we can remove that we are going to study and that process is called rationalization. Okay, I am doing it. One, these are the three sums. One by one I am going to solve this all. One by root two. So for rem removing root two, in my previous video I told you how to multiply root number with root number. So if I will multiply root 2 into root 2, then it will become root 4 means 2. So this root will get cancelled. Look here how. Root 2 by root 2. So you will get root 2 into 1 root 2 and root 2 into root 2 means root 4 or you can say root 4 gives you 2. So this is your final answer. You can see here root is not in denominator and we have to do that it is a new numerator and we don't have any problem nobody has problem but when it is in denominator we have to remove it now we are going to solve this 1 by root 3 minus for removing this the two numbers are there we should know the identity identity third which we learned in previous standard also or in this standard also a minus b into a plus b gives you a square minus b look here what they had done a minus b a plus b and the two numbers get square so here also we will multiply something like that and we will get two squares so when this number are getting square root will be automatically cancelled so we are going to multiply this minus is there so plus if plus will be here then we will multiply with minus root 3 minus is there so we are going to multiply with plus root 3 plus root so in the numerator also we have to multiply with the same number 1 into this 2 you will get the same number root 3 plus root 2 now in the denominator by this identity you will get root 3 whole square minus root 2 whole square. So we come to know that in numerator that same number and in denominator root 3 square means 3 minus 2. So root 3 plus root 2 upon 1. So this is your final answer. If you don't want to write 1 then also it's okay. Now I am going to solve the thirds. Root 7 minus root 2 upon root 5 minus root 3. The same pattern which we followed here or which we had seen here a minus b a plus b a square in denominator we have to multiply with root 5 plus root 3 and in numerator also root 5 plus now what will happen in denominator we know it will be um, root 5 whole square minus root 3 whole square. and in numerator first root 7 will be multiplied with this 2 and then minus root 2 will be multiplied with this 2 I am going to multiply root 7 into root 5 gives you root 35 root 7 into root 3 plus under root 21 2 into 5 means minus root 10 and at last root minus root 6. You can see all numbers are different, no like terms we cannot add in numerator same number will be remaining upon 5 minus 3. So 2 and root 35 plus root 21 minus root 10 minus root 6. This is your final. Look here, no root in the denominator. 
so we have to do this way we can rationalize the number and we can remove the root from the denominator if you like my video please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching thank you